Hard candy, lollipops, dark chocolate, taffy, mints, gum, you name it, Dr. John's Healthy Sweets in Comstock Park, Michigan, just outside of Grand Rapids, makes it. The key to the product when we bought the company was that the product tasted like a sugar product without any sugar in it. Mike McDonald and his wife Patty have owned Dr. John's Healthy Sweets since November of 2017. The idea to create the sugar-free candy came from a Grand Rapids area dentist in the mid-1990s. When the McDonald's took over, they worked to make sure the candy was sugar-free, all-natural, gluten-free, kosher, made with 50% or more natural fiber, allergen-free, and of course, mouth-watering and delicious. We would be the first confection company in the U.S. to have a trademark on the word healthy on a bag of candy. And so we kind of thought that was a big deal. And a big deal it has become. A year after purchasing Dr. John's Healthy Sweets, Mike experienced a surprising diagnosis within his own family. Since our oldest of 11 grandchildren uh, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And so that's been a struggle. And it's been kind of nice to be able to provide him with some treats that he can, uh, he can consume. Part of the secret sauce that goes into making millions of these sugar-free artisan treats every year, the cooking equipment. Most of the machines are original and built to produce smaller quality products instead of relying on a continuous cooking style used by most candy manufacturers. The no sugar aspect of our product, when it starts to solidify, it forms fast and hard. Henceforth, you can't do a continuous cook on our product. You have to do it in small batches. In addition to making sure products meet all health requirements, Dr. John's constantly takes customer feedback and experiments with new flavors, textures, and health attributes. Austin Garthy, the Director of Food Safety, Quality Assurance, and Research and Development at Dr. John's, spends hundreds of hours in this kitchen testing out new flavor combinations. I'll have an idea and go, huh. Have we had any spicy chocolate yet? No, let's try it. Sometimes they stick, sometimes they don't. The impact of this sugar-free candy in both the United States and globally is what motivates Dr. John's and makes them proud. With the business growing by 250% in the last three years, in 2019, Dr. John's was the exporter of the year for the Michigan Department of Agriculture. More than 55% of the candy is sold outside of the U.S. It's uh, given uh, my wife and I an opportunity to travel to Asia and we spent uh, three weeks over there uh, getting to know the people, understanding the market. These treats aren't just welcomed overseas. Mike says it's the number one sugar-free candy recommended by dentists. 60% of the dental offices across the U.S. provide it to their patients, including Robinson Dental in Coopersville, Michigan. Dentists and hygienists say the xylitol ingredient in Dr. John's products helps create saliva and cleanse the mouth. That can lead to getting more cavities when your mouth's really dry, so we recommend patients suck on one of the suckers or the hard candies, and that can help stimulate saliva and reduce their risk of cavities. They also say the sugar-free aspect is great for kids. Uh, well, sugar creates plaque, which builds up on the teeth. It can cause cavities, and we just see a lot of issues with it it causing cavities for, for kids and adults. It's not just dental offices. Dr. John's Healthy Sweets is sold to every major medical distributor in the world. The candy is in the offices of endocrinologists who treat patients with diabetes, and it's in 38 cancer centers across the U.S. Jessica Hester lost her daughter Brooke to neuroblastoma in 2015. She remembers watching radioactive sugar travel to Brooke's cancer cells during a PET scan. Hester wishes she would have known about Dr. John's when Brooke was going through her battle with cancer. And then it's something that for a child with cancer that helps them literally deal with the chemotherapy going into their veins. Hester is also the executive director and founder of Brooke's Blossoming Hope, a nonprofit for childhood cancer. She was thrilled when Dr. John's donated 30 pounds of candy last Christmas for care packages sent out to children across the U.S. That we can distribute something that we know for a fact is healthy for the children and it's something that Brooke would love and want to do. Um, and so that, 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 that brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> that joy is what makes it all worthwhile for Mike. Hearing from the consumer and what they like about a product and the, the stories making their, their kids so happy that can't consume sugar is very meaningful. It adds a little bit more uh, 
eternal aspect to doing to doing business and uh, making product than it otherwise would. This has been a VNN sponsored story. For more information, email rshewitt at verifiednews.network.